MSC CruiseCast is a Triple T production. Now, the Taste Try Travel Team of Beth and Chris. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome back to the MSC Cruise Cast. I am Beth. I'm Chris. And we are your Taste Try Travel Team. Whoa. <laughs> For any of you listening on just podcast, that's who we are. Exactly. Um, yes, because we are now available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or and wherever you like to listen to your podcasts. There we go. I like that little phrase. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, kitty kitty. Come here. Oh, he's going to scream. No, he's going to scream. You're not helping us today. All right. What are we talking about today on the podcast? Today is all about Ocean K, our favorite private island. This is maybe my favorite place on earth besides where we live in the mountains <laughs> so ocean k is about or depending on when you're listening to is under construction phase two construction or has already done phase okay. two construction. <laughs> but as of right as now of as we're recording yeah. it it is scheduled to close when is it april 7th and I do believe the last cruise will be going in there on April 6th Okay. Um, for phase two of their construction. They already did phase one. Okay. Um, which is what you see now. What is there? For anyone new to Ocean what K. What is there what? For anyone new to Ocean K. What is Ocean K? Yeah. Sure. I'm glad you asked. Let what me, is what was phase one? Let me put on my glasses okay. here. <laughs> well, phase one is what you see now. Yeah. It's everything that it, building the island, building the, the stuff that's on the that was phase one. Okay. So we will get into what phase two is or what they we think it might right, be. Right, right. And just man, you, okay. you'll understand why I said what we think it might be. Okay. Okay, so Ocean K. Mm -hmm. It is an artificial island. Right. Never was an island there. There was some coral, um, some rocks, but there wasn't an island there. Mm -hmm. um, but it had, what is the sand? Aragonite I know, sand. I know, aragonite. Aragonite sand Very was, nice, expensive sand. Exactly. Use that in all sorts of industrial and, mm -hmm. and all sorts of things use aragonite sand, I guess. Yep. I'm no sand expert. Neither but am I. And we don't own fish, so I know that's a lot of what's put in fish tanks, too. So, in the 60s, mm -hmm. the Dillingham Construction Company of Hawaii, mm -hmm. which I didn't realize they were from Hawaii, mm -hmm. but they were from Hawaii, bought that little area, mm -hmm. or leased that little area, um, to mine the sand. And, you know, they mined it for years, but sometime I'm, I could never find a date of when they stopped. Mm -hmm. Maybe they just kind of wound down. There was no really official date when they mm -hmm. stopped. Um, but sometime in the 70s or 80s, that's as close as I could get. Really? <laughs> they stopped uh, mining the sand there. So it just it was just a mess. There was. Um, Mining equipment left over, uh, refuse. It was just a mess of an area. In, uh, let's see. In 2015, MSC leased that area from the Bahamas for 100 years. Mm -hmm. And their original plan was to put in an LNG uh, fueling station there because they're moving a lot of their uh, ships to right. well all of their new ships I think yeah, well maybe not are. all of them I don't know but they're they're using a lot more LNG for their ships right a little bit cleaner for the environment and that's right. something that MSC has stated they want to do right um, so they were going to put in a refueling station there so that the ships could come right there it's just sixty five miles from Miami. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's not far. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally you could you, you could swim there. Yeah, well, 
uh, well, you could take a little boat. Right. Um, but anyway, they were just going to have it right there. So they, the ships could go bing right over there, get fueled up, and they're ready to go. Mm-hmm. However, that changed. They realized that um, the cruise audience, mm-hmm. cruise passengers, um, kind of almost expect now that the cruise line will have yeah. a private island yeah. where you can go and just enjoy the beach. You don't right. have to pay an outside um, company to enjoy their beach right. or you don't have to travel when you get into port somewhere. You can just go to their private island and that's your basically an awesome beach day. Well, MSC kind of figured that's great. We're going to do two mm-hmm. things. We're going to turn um, this island. We're going to get rid of all of the waste that's mm-hmm. there, all of the mining uh, equipment that's left over and all the mining waste. We're going to revamp it, make it a marine preserve and our private island. So we're going to restore uh, the coral that's around there, return, hopefully return the wildlife mm-hmm. to that area and make it a uh, an area where people on the cruise ships can get off and enjoy a beach day. Right, because I think that uh, the Dillinger Company and I think a lot of people that Dillingham. were Dilling, Dillinger, what was that? Was that like a... Yeah, that was a gangster. Gangster. <laughs> um, they never really realized the the impact that mining that sand um, had on all of the coral and the local right. wildlife, it, you know, ocean life around there. Because it just made like this, just just dug up everything, and this silt, you know, went everywhere, and then it basically destroyed. That yeah, area. this is nothing living really in that area because of that. You right. Know? So they're having to, MSC is now having to import, right. you know, uh, coral and and um, as the coral returns, then the wildlife returns. Seagrass, all of that stuff, because that's all like, like basic living for all these other creatures. Yes, I just wanted to say, I have a note here. Mm-hmm. It's kind of interesting that one of the ways that you can tell that your... Um, uh, that your restoration is working mm-hmm. is manta rays and turtles Ooh. and lobsters. <gasps> those three, We've I guess. Seen those. Yes, as they come back, you know that the they can enough gauge to that them. there is yes that it's really working because right. I guess that they stay away from. I mean, obviously, any wildlife will stay away from dead areas, right. but. They will frequent areas with that are doing well. That's awesome to know. Yeah. And yeah. we've seen we've all seen three, all three of, of those yep. there. Yep. So that's a very good sign. That, yeah. I mean, we already knew that they were doing very well. The, right. the coral offshore is, I guess, evidently doing just wonderful. Yeah. So it is now uh, 64 square miles that mm-hmm. they leased including the ocean not the the island isn't 64 <laughs> square not, miles it's yeah. all the it's all the area that they leased that they are now going to make into a marine preserve which right. they have done. yeah so they are doing 64 square miles there um when they d- designed the uh, island they realized or scientists told them that an inland lagoon there's a reason why that's there Hmm. it's not just as a design feature yeah it actually is a a a, 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 like a feature that was put in because it is an important base for migrating birds and as a protection for smaller uh, wildlife yeah so they can go in and use the lagoon area yeah the shallower parts. Now, there's some shallower parts around the island mm-hmm. also, but they lead to deeper, deeper ocean just right there. Yeah. So that inland lagoon is actually was designed to help the wildlife return to that area because it provides a little safe haven for for birds and for smaller marine okay, animals. Yeah. Which I didn't know that. Uh, let's see what else. 
like I said earlier, it's only 65 miles mm-hmm. from Miami. So mm-hmm. stays there often times last late into the evening. That's what's the like a really cool feature of it being so close. It's so much closer than the other cruise lines, private islands. Um, yeah, so it can either like stay really late or it can stay there like a day and a half or if, yeah. Right. On our first visit to Ocean K, it was overnight. We visit. were spoiled on that one. We got there at four o'clock one afternoon and we didn't leave until like 10 o'clock the following night. So we got a party yep. that first night. Yep. And we got a light show from the lighthouse. Yeah. And it was special. Mm -hmm. It was one of those experiences um, in cruising that you don't forget. It's unique and stands out how much fun. We were on seashore that, that. and it was we were just coming out of the pandemic, and so the ship was not full, and um, yeah. It was it was great. They had fire pits on the beach mm-hmm. w- during the party. Uh, they had a little DJ and lights set mm-hmm. up, and everybody was just having a fantastic time, including us. With the <laughs> ocean right there, the yep. ocean was ten feet away from the party. Mm-hmm. There's the lighthouse over on the other side. You could sit out on your uh, what do they call those kind of those deck chairs that are big and made out of wood to kind of sit back. They have and a special ad- name. Adirondack chairs. Adirondack yeah. chairs. You can sit in the Adirondack chairs <laughs> yeah. and just you, you're sitting by the ship. The ship is beautiful all mm-hmm. lit up. Yep. The, the, you could hear the waves coming in. You've got a little party going on. you got fire pits. You could stay there I'm sure all night. They told you that you had to be back on the ship. They said they had you to be back on by midnight. So probably for security reasons, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. I don't know why you'd want to stay off the ship because it's way more comfortable to sleep on the ship. <laughs> exactly. But <laughs> you would stay out a long time, yeah. is what I'm saying. Yeah. Um and if you but wanted they, to mm-hmm. go ahead, sorry. Oh, I was gonna say they still do, even if you don't overnight, they still try to stay late enough so you can have those parties. Right. And the light show. Um they have to stay later. Oops, sorry. Sorry, as it starts to get into summer and the sun is out later, yep. they stay later so that they can have that um, lighthouse kind of, it's not fireworks, but it's like a show and right. and a party. So, And I'm telling you, everyone, don't miss that experience on yeah. the, of, of staying late at Ocean K. It is find your itinerary where you can I would and do book, it just for that. I would book an itinerary just to stay there a day and a half or to stay there late. Yes, very much so. Overnight was awesome. awesome. And I really, I want to just say, I really didn't think it was going to be right. that awesome because I just thought it's, I don't know. I always thought of like staying overnight somewhere kind of as like, cheapen out by the cruise line yeah like they don't have to pay to cruise somewhere else so you kind of right. just get two days at a place instead of one and you really could have got everything done in that first date boy was i wrong yep. it's it, at least on ocean k boy I was take, i wrong i would take a cruise to stay there like three days i would be totally fine with that <laughs> exactly that's how much we love ocean yeah. k yeah um Let's see here. Oh, there it is. Sightings of lobsters, green turtles, and rays are great indications the waters are returning to the natural balance. Yep. That's what I, yep. I wanted to do. I wanted to do that because yeah, that's awesome. scientists I didn't know that. said that. Okay. So that's pretty much what Ocean K is. I was just going to add there yep. are, I don't know if you're going to talk about this, but there are over 100 people that currently live on the island. Yeah, I was going to go over what's on there right now. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they're like the researchers. Um, there's some that take care of the island, like, you know, like horticulturists and things. Um, but there's a lot of people that actually live on the island. Yeah. So the what's on there now or mm-hmm. what's at Ocean K now, there is a... The Dillingham Corporation dredged out a big channel mm-hmm. for sh- their ships. And that's what um, MSC uses mm-hmm. right now to pull their ships in. They also dredged a little turning area just outside, which 
is MSC where they uses because they turn and they always back in. Yes. Yeah. So they'll come in and use that little area that the Dillingham yeah. Corporation dredged out to turn their ship and then back in that mm-hmm. channel that the Dillingham Corporation. Yeah. Yeah. So, so they didn't have to ruin any more. No, they under didn't. like they just kind of used what was already there. That exactly. Was cool. Okay. Exactly. So on the island right now, there are seven beaches. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. There are. I'm trying to look at this. I got the picture here. There are, there's the uh, lighthouse beach Mm -hmm. right next to the ship. Mm -hmm. There is the sunset beach. Mm -hmm. That's our favorite. Um, It's our favorite. Exactly. There is the paradise sands, Mm -hmm. which is up at the very end. It's the hardest one to get to. Yeah. Yeah, You've got to walk a long way. (laughs) There's the wedding pavilions up there and the spa is up there. The spa is up there. Yeah. Um, You got to go a long way. And Mm -hmm. there was hardly anybody there wasn't no at that beach when right, we were there right because it's probably because it's so far away yeah and it's beautiful there might be some changes coming up with that with what mm, making it it's not making it so there's not well there's less people up there because oh. it is so far away right right mm-hmm. right um there is the north and south beach which are on the either side of the lagoon right yeah there is uh bimini beach and that's at the very north side of the island and you can actually we could actually see bimini island right from exactly Mm -hmm. there is the ocean house beach which Mm -hmm. is the yacht club beach is that it yes yes that was seven yes okay I was just looking at the map as I'm saying this. Mm-hmm. Um, there's nine bars. I'm not going to list mm-hmm. all the bars. Yep. There's nine bars. Which you can't eat, which is great. So, yeah, go ahead. Well, I'm just, you don't have to go far. Right, exactly. <laughs> there's a bar at every beach. Yeah. There's more than one bar at every beach. Yeah. <laughs> there's a bar, basically, there's a bar at every beach. Right. And in the little shopping village. Right. Um, which has uh, some food there, and too. then by the buffet, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also bars. There's one buffet area mm-hmm. right now. Yep. Um, there's food trucks everywhere. I don't have an exact number for those. It seemed like they were all over. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if one's at every beach. There might not no, be one. There at wasn't the, at Sunset Beach, but there's not one more than probably. A hundred yards from wherever you're at on yeah. the on the island, yeah. maybe a couple hundred yards. I yeah. don't know, but not very far, right? To get to a food truck, one lagoon. Yep. <laughs> uh, one harbor. Yep. I'm not including the ship channel. No, that's a different. This is thing. the harbor where like a little ferry comes to bring some locals, and right. where you get you can rent the little uh, what are those things called? Jet skis. Jet skis like yeah. is where the research boat research goes boat in. Is, yeah, um, it's just a little harbor right next to yeah. um, the village. The, the, the shopping village. village. Yep. Yeah, there is one dock for the cruise ship. Yep. There's one lighthouse. Yep. Which is it's basically like the it's like highlight. a it's like a play lighthouse. Yeah, it is. It's not a real lighthouse. I mean, it is, but it's there for aesthetics and to have, and to put on a show and. But it's pretty. It's pretty high. And can I just say? Yes. When we were on the Magnifica, the first was a three day, and we were only going to Ocean K, and so we were basically the 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 day before when it was a sea day. We saw the lighthouse most of the day because we were just like circling the island. Exactly. And we could see, you could look out and you could see a little island and you could see the the little lighthouse. The and you're little like, lighthouse well, that's it. Ocean K because there's nothing else around it that looks like it. So Yeah, we just did a, a just a giant circle around, <laughs> exactly. around Ocean K <laughs> while we were waiting to, to pull in there for yeah. our next day. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. Um, there's a shopping village, like I said, which mm-hmm. also has ice cream, yeah. um, a it bar. Has it has a couple like merchandise shops and then it has like an ocean K like researching shop. You can go in and like see what's going on in the island and stuff like that. Yeah. And that's kind of, but that's very kind of basic, very basic, very yeah. basic. Yeah. And the reason I say that is because we'll yeah. get into what's coming okay. next. Um, there's a wedding pavilion. Mm-hmm. Um, this is not much more than just like, yeah, 
six posts and a little thing. So in a bathroom. Not, no, in a bathroom there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. Uh, there's a spa facility, mm-hmm. which God bless the spa ladies that had to man that because we were down there for much <laughs> of the day. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe not much of the day, but a little bit. Well, a few hours down there. Never saw anybody. No, and she was just sitting there on her phone probably. (laughs) But um, it's not like a whole building. They're like little huts. And then they're like little, little like, like there's one little hut and there's like a couple smaller ones where like you can get like a massage on the beach and stuff like that. So it definitely wasn't like a big spa right very, yeah very not a spa it's it's kind of glorified spa little treatments huts. maybe yeah. Yeah. you know that kind of stuff out on the island yeah. there um which i guess for people that like that thing is mm-hmm. very nice to do that on the beach i have i have a pers- I, would enjoy I have it. a personal space issue yes personal. you do you would never get that <laughs> period <laughs> i don't want people rubbing me anyway <laughs> And to be out on a sweaty island right. and somebody rubbing me, that sounds like torture to me. I, I, I can't even imagine that. Yeah. And people pay for that. Huh? They pay a lot of money for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, almost done. We have the apartments for the employees. Yep. Employees have a, a little apartment. They're apartments. really super cute. They look very like Key Westy, you know, yes. with little bright colors and uh, they're beautiful. You're like, I want to live there. And what else? The last thing they have on there right now yeah. is one unused dive shop. Correct. The dive shop was. We've been there multiple times. It's was, still unused. Yes. Built um, in phase one mm-hmm. for some reason. Uh, maybe they were planning on opening it. Yeah. Uh, Gosh, I would love to dive around there. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it hasn't been open okay. the entire time. So. That kind of leads into phase two and what is being planned for phase two. I'm excited. Now, I want to read before we get into what we know or think we know or the rumors or anything like that. What MSC officially says is happening during phase two. Because it's been open for a couple years now. Um, um, Ocean K. Yeah, it's yes. been open for Phase a couple one, of years. Yes. And uh, there's so much room to do more. Like yes. the whole center of the island is empty. Well, not quite so much anymore. But anyway, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so this is what... Their official... Their what official saying. statement. Okay. In order... MSC announced it would close Ocean K from April 7th to May 22nd. Quote... In order to make necessary guest experience enhancements and support the island's future growth plans. Okay. Close quotes. Okay. And and <laughs> have we heard anything else? No. That is no. it. That is all MSC has said. Right. About what the plans are. Right. So they've been as vague as possible. Yeah. Now, I know there's a lot of rumors going around. Lots and lots and yeah. lots of rumors. Maybe some of them have some truth to them. I don't know. But Here's the only one we know 100% for sure. I think I know what you're going to say. 100% for sure. Yep. They're going to open another buffet area. And how do we know that? Because we were there and we saw it. <laughs> we saw kind of built. It was kind of near Sunset Beach. Yep. Um, and... There was no pay. It was completely white, but it had the same like roll layout. up doors, exactly the same layout as Seekers Buffet has now. Yes. So there's no like awnings outside. There's nothing except the actual building. Right. But it's definitely a second buffet and it's definitely needed because anything on the west side of the island um, has to travel a little ways to get to Seekers. So I can't wait for that to open. I well, can't wait. And it's, this is all speculation on what that's for. Okay. Because it may not be that both buffets will be open on every that's stop. True. Yeah. We don't know that. Right. Because we don't know if when phase two, we don't know if they are going to put another dock in right so that they can put two ships in there because the island can handle two ships the size of it can handle the amount of people right absolutely do we want that i would say no i don't think we want because that. it is spectacular 
spectacularly, amazingly beautiful with an awesome you can always experience. Find a chair. You can, you, oh, oh my you goodness! You almost yeah. feel like you you and some friends yeah. rented yeah. a boat and went out and found a paradise island that nobody knows about. Right. And you're sitting on there. Yeah. And then you were rich enough that you got a helicopter <laughs> to bring you in some food and drink. Exactly. They landed on that <laughs> island. That's what the experience is right now. I really, honestly hope they do not bring two ships in. I know. But I do know one ship that's going to go there for sure. Here's. Yeah. <laughs> here's my. This might surprise you. Okay. I kind of hope they do put in a second dock. Why? Not because I hope. Not because I hope that they bring in more people right. to the island. But here's the deal. Because they only have one dock now. Oh, one ship has to leave. One ship has to leave in order for the other ship to come in. Yeah. And therefore, it's gonna those limit. overnight stays are rare at exactly. Ocean K because the next morning, so another ship has to be somebody in there. has to be in there. That's so they true. have to get the the dock they have to get out so that another ship can get in. But if there's only one way in, I I I guarantee you they're not going to dredge another way in. Well, it would be the same channel. You'd have to share that channel. You would just, exactly, you would yeah. just either widen the channel or widen right where yeah. it would back up and then do a little jog into another. Oops, sorry. Or they could put a little area that they could pull around another ship. Anyway. Yeah. All I'm saying is I hope they do that. I'm just looking up something real quick. Because, yeah. sure. Because then overnight stays might be a little bit more mm -hmm. frequent right which would make everybody happy everybody would be happy with that we certainly would we would book a cruise like you said just for just an overnight for stay now let me tell you one ship we know is going to be there is going to be the world america yep. starting next year now the world america this i had to look up because i didn't know it has six thousand seven hundred and sixty two passengers yes. so that will be the most passengers ever yes there so that could be literally the other reason that that the buffet that a second buffet is coming and then maybe that second buffet opens when you know something busy when now, you have that gigantic mega ship come in now they keep might in mind open the, the seashore is about 5600 yeah so a, a thousand people definitely make a difference it'll yeah. make a difference so yeah. i have to say when we were now it wasn't a full sailing on our seashore correct yep um we were about what sixty percent. Yeah, something there. like that. Never felt crowded right. at all. In fact, it felt empty. The Ocean K. Yeah. But when we were back there um, <laughs> on on Maravilla, Maravilla, and on Magnifica, never felt crowded. No, but we have to say when we were on Maravilla, we got our little like a little transportation to the yacht club and we didn't leave the yacht club beach. Exactly. So <laughs> it exactly. might be a little, uh, yeah. a little skewed on that it might one, be, but. Yeah, exactly. That might not be fair. But I'm, when we were on Magnifica, <laughs> Buffet did not feel no crowded at all. No. At all. But I think what you said was true is that the island can hold this 7,000 passengers from World yeah. America. It can hold it. So what else do you think? What else do you have on your list that you think they're going to do? Um, rumors. Okay. They will add excursion centers to support water sport activities and island tours, a dive and snorkel center, mm -hmm. and additional food and beverage outlets. Yep. So that was... That was like one of the official rumors. Okay. <laughs> so we know that they're going to add uh, more food. Definitely the buffet. Yeah. They're adding that. They already have the dive center built. Yep. I'm sure that they are going to now put the infrastructure in there. To yeah. And there's, it's like a whole little peninsula that's kind of empty where that's at. So like if you get off the ship and you immediately go to your right after you get to the big red fake lighthouse yep. um you get to the dive shop and it's kind of like there's definitely room there right <laughs> um 
on the other side of the uh thank you stashy hello stashy <laughs> our dog came in um on the other side of the uh employee apartments mm -hmm. there is a little inlet mm -hmm. that is not used at all correct it I so we're not sure exactly what that if they're going to use that or if that is actually they're going to the, leave it for the health of the island for the health of the island correct because there's a lot of algae um, and I'm sure there's a lot of like it's like a fish nursery in there exactly um, as we were saying earlier they put the lagoon in for that reason exactly I think it was originally going to be like a children's right because it's not that deep. But I'm not sure that they're going to do anything there. I don't think they are. Yeah. Because they put in the lagoon for mm -hmm. people to swim in. Right. And I think that kind of takes away from the marine. It does. Wildlife refuge It's area. not a refuge whatsoever. Well, it could. <laughs> but, well, I just mean there's not a ton of people. There's never a ton of there's people in not, there. But don't you remember as we were walking over, they have a net now well they do have a net so they've added a net but that's only to keep up bigger stuff. bigger stuff but still i mean it's there's enough activity in that main lagoon right where there's so i like the idea of that smaller little inlet being saved exactly yeah. i don't think they're going to use that there was speculation that yeah. they were going to turn that into like a little snorkel area i don't think that's what's going to happen i think it's going to stay a refuge when we were there we saw fish in there we saw lots of birds oh we saw there. that yeah we saw like the little uh, algae little and then pipers. little things we saw sandpipers there's a lot of like life happening in that and so i think that might be a little exactly hesitant to to destroy that how are our volumes sounding our volumes they're good, good? Yeah, okay. They're good. Um, okay so msc's i'm excited about this sorry i'm excited about this if i haven't said that this change, this new phase yeah, that they're it, doing. 100%. We have to go back. So they are going to, at some point, don't know if this is going to be, this is, again, speculation, because they aren't being specific. Mm -hmm. They're going to have a bigger MSC Foundation Marine Conservation Center. Yes. It's I a facility that. that will be a base for biologists. Yep. Coral reef experts and students. Right. They already come in and use the area. Not like use it, but come in and study the area and right. and uh, help bring back the, the wildlife and the coral in that area. Scientists and students already do that. Mm -hmm. But now they're going to have a like a little central area that's <gasps> also going to have interactive pavilions, a lecture hall, and coral exhibition tanks providing educational opportunities to guests on the importance yes. of the marine ecosystem and the need to protect oceans. I am super excited about this because I don't know if they're going to put it in the center of the island because there's definitely space for it yep. there. But I think that so many people go to MSC and have no clue the habitat and the the reserve that it is right. and what msc is actually doing with their super coral and all of this stuff that they're doing and people just go there and it's beautiful and they have a fun uh, like a uh, you know fun ocean day but they have no idea what's going on there and i can't wait i'm so glad if they put a darn pool there i'm going to be really upset <laughs> <laughs> they don't think they're going to do. I really want something like this so there can be that interactive and people can actually see yes. what magic is happening under the water there. I'm not sure that that's going to be. It may not be in that this That sounds phase. ambitious for a month and a half. Yes, I agree. So it may be a little bit ways uh, a little bit, you know, more down. But I wish they would have even like a shore excursion that like you could talk to the marine biologists and see some of the behind the scenes stuff and right. like understand that. I want that so bad. Exactly. <laughs> and I think when they do open that, then they can have the marine biologists actually like come in and yeah. stay rather than just come in and visit. Yeah. Um, and that can be part of, of uh, right. you know, the experience there. So. What else you got? They are going to, okay. <laughs> supposedly, install a third solar farm 
Cool. Because there's already two. So I don't know where these solar farms are. Do you know are, where they're at? I think they are either like on top of the apartment building oh, okay. or like back in that area. Because there is a good little area um, back where they do like their water treatment and all of that that we don't have access to. And I think that's where the solar farm is currently. Okay. Um. Because their aim is to achieve zero greenhouse Correct. emissions for Correct. Ocean K. Yep. They're going to add an advanced water treatment plant. Okay. That could, who knows, because I don't know what that. I don't know what's already there. Right. I'm sure that they treat water somehow already. Well, they do for sure, because every, all the water is. They're not dumping it out in the ocean. Recycling them. They use it for irrigation. Exactly. So, yeah. Um, they're going to plant more trees and grasses and shrubs. Can I just say on that, that when were we there two years ago on yep. the seashore? It has grown so much and so many of those trees and palm trees. We noticed that when we were just there last month, there was so much more shade. Oh, the than growth there was is great. A year ago. Yes. It is. It's, I can't wait to continue to see it. Like when we grow. were first there and like the trees kind of, they weren't very tall. And no. you're like, golly, in 20 there years, this will be nice. But it actually, was like no shade. Yeah, like, just oh. a couple of years. It, it really is grown. It's a huge amount of shade. You kind of yeah. really, I was really surprised yeah. at how much those trees have provided yeah. in just that short amount of time. And they have like a whole lawn, like grass. Exactly. I don't know. It's, it's really nice. Yeah. It's, so it's grown so good. Exactly. Last thing that I'm sure they're probably going to do okay. is new accommodation buildings um, to provide amenities for the staff, yeah. which will increase because yeah. right now there's about a hundred, about a hundred, hundred to one hundred fifty, depending, you know, one yeah. days and stuff like that. And they're going to put it up to about two hundred eighty, okay, because they're going to have more facilities. Um, on the island. So they're going to ha have to add right. we, almost double or double the amount of people that are going to be. Right. We know that there is a ferry that comes, I don't know if it's daily, but that brings some locals from the Bahamas to come work on the island. So right. not everyone that works there stays there. Um, but I'm wondering where they're going to put that. Like, I don't know how much space is back behind where all those apartments are because we right. can't really see that much. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like they're not going to put those in the middle of the island. No. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I mean. I know, I, but we have noticed that. Um, some of these. We, Yeah. I was just going to say some of these I can't see happening in a month and a half. Correct. I mean, you can't. You can put up an apartment. A little, you know, 20 apartments maybe yeah. in a month and a half. That's probably possible. But like a research center? No. I don't know about that. Well, we did notice in the middle of the island, there is that new buffet building yep. built. But we also noticed, I think it was like eight or ten, like those Connex shipping containers yep. that were there. So they probably have been like loading things onto the island in well, anticipation of whatever is going to happen within that month. Exactly. There's already some foundations up there. Yeah. There's nothing built on them, yeah. but there's already some foundations up there. So yeah. they're going to put something else up there. I yeah. don't know what it's going to be, but it's all speculation because they're being... Anyway, okay. those are the official rooms Rumors. Yes. Those are the official rumors out there because there are no official declarations. No. So there's right. official rumors. Well, and we talked to. So, yeah, I yeah. want to go into. <laughs> OK, go ahead. What we would like to see. Well, I was just going to say we yes. talked to. Um, so we were there on the Magnifica and there's no yacht club there. So there was actually a lifeguard who was kind of stationed at the entrance of the yacht club area, just kind of keeping people. Yacht club there. wasn't open Correct. because there's no yacht there's club no yacht on Magnifica. Club. Correct. So the yacht club part of Ocean K wasn't open. And he right. was there just kind of very nicely asking people to find another beach. But we went and we chatted with him for a little bit. His name was Frank. Where was he from? Oh, I put goodness. you on the spot. You yes, you did. I don't remember. Uh, so very nice. Remember. He was wonderful to talk to. And um, all he would say, because we were trying to like pick his brain a little bit, and he was just, just like, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. 
That's all he would say. So I'm excited about that. But I have a couple things on the list that I would like to yeah, see. Yeah, I've already gone over one of mine, which is I hope they expand so we can get two ships in because I want overnight stays. I want oh more overnight God. stays. Yes. I don't want more ships necessarily. I don't want any more NASA. But I want I overnight want stays. overnight stays anyway. in Ocean K. Okay, what's, some, what's something that you well, would like to see? Well, this is something I would love to see. Um, and I think it's actually kind of like a, a negative or a con right now that's there and i it's not going to happen on this closure i'm sure but i think they need wider paths for walking slash carts you know like be beeped out all the time right now the only paths are like these they're, they're nice size concrete paths right yep. and everyone just walks on them yep. except the problem is is they're main they're supposed to be for carts uh -huh. The electric carts that bring, they're like the transportation for people. And so as you're, if you're like the driver, you're like constantly like honking and people are like, oh my goodness, oh, we got to get out of the way. So it takes forever for the transportation to get there. But then like, it's really hard to walk on the sand next to it. Yeah. So, so that's I wish why they were just a little wider with maybe some directions on there. Like this is for the cart and this is to walk. I know. You're not going to like what I, what I want to see then. Oh, what? I was going to say, I want to see a little bit more shuttles on the island because I would love to, too. The shuttle basically just goes to one stop right now. It yeah, goes so from currently it went from the, the stop that's kind of in center. between the center and um, Lighthouse right. Beach. But it's kind of like the main. Yeah, it's yeah. right there. And it only went to North Beach. It only went to North Beach. Which is at the very, um, it's at the entrance of the bridge that goes over to Bimini Beach and the Yacht Club area. Um, I would love to, so, but there was no carts going to Sunset Beach. So I'd love to see a lot more transportation. I think it's great because that island is big. And in the summer, it's hot. Yeah. So, um, but I just wish they would somehow expand that a little bit or write on there, mark on there, hey, this is the this is the place for carts and then this is the place to walk, you know, and give us just some a little bit more yeah. So sure. we could get more I'm sure the transportation people get really annoyed because they're people are walking on the concrete, which yep. they don't know any better. <laughs> That's one thing I would like to see. Anything else? I would like to see more water filling stations or more water stations yes yeah. because it is large and if you're not carrying we always carry our bottles like our refillable bottles with us um but there's no real place unless you're going and getting a drink at the bar or maybe like at the main buffet it's really hard to find water drinking water exactly outside the restrooms and they're not easily there i didn't see any bottle refilling i only nope. saw like drinking fountain which is impossible to try to refill exactly just um, put in those little dual purpose ones right. that would be very nice um so maybe different menus at the little food trucks that are around i know there really are some but you gotta pay there's a seafood one but you have to pay yeah. it might be fun to have a little bit different menus like maybe a Mexican one, like you get some tacos. tacos. Wouldn't that be amazing? That would be amazing. Oh my goodness. But like literally I would take Ocean K as it is every day. Yes. Every day. There's one other thing that I would like to see and I'm, obviously I can't be 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that they're gonna address it. And that is Yacht Club. Yep. Beach. Yep. I think that they are going to clean that because they've heard that people. I think they're going to do two things at Yacht Club. They're going to they're going to clean out the rocks that are on the beach. I th right. think because a lot of people were having problem with how rocky part of the uh, Yacht Club beach is. Correct, and so they have to be careful though because as you start to get a little deeper, that's where the sea grasses start, and they can't like right. mess with that. But I think you're talking about like right as you get into the water, basically right? just that transition area. Yeah, yeah. If if you're looking, if you're standing on the beach looking at the water, the left hand side, which is closest to like the restaurant area, Ocean House is restaurant. is the rockiest and then as you get further away it's not so bad it's a lot easier but yep. you definitely need like water shoes to get in there yep. and i could see a lot of people not liking liking that and the most important thing which i'm a thousand percent positive i can say with a, a bazillion percent 
competence, Mm -hmm. whatever number that is. Mm -hmm. They are going to add yes restrooms to the yacht club area well they're also going to expand the restaurant they have to because what was there 220 people on the maravilla and they had to eat in shifts yeah there was like three shifts that they had to eat in so just is not made for one of these big ships with their like four or five hundred people in yacht club yeah they have they have the space for it they have one women's room one men's room where i thought it was only one on the yacht in the, club i thought it was just one restroom itself that was in by that little bar area i think it was just was one it one it was, i thought it was a uh, women's and a men's oh i thought there was one on right. either side of the okay. a little uh, hand washing area there okay you could be right i thought maybe not they have a trailer anyway, they have <laughs> yes right now they have temporary trailer that has restrooms in yeah. it that is not up to yacht club standards no it's just because it's a trailer and it's like stinky i never went into it so i don't know i I used the one at the (laughs) is not good yeah i'm positive that they are going to put in some more restrooms up there because that was that was the literally the only part of yacht club where you're like oh goodness we're going really long right now okay yep wrap this up but i'm sure that they're going to put that in because the, they want to treat the yacht club on the island as basically you're yacht getting the same experience exactly. as if you were on the ship. And restrooms are a big part of that experience. If they're not exactly. accessible, if they're, if they're too far away, all of that. So if you're experiencing a great, great <laughs> restroom on the ship, you're probably happy. You'll need to experience a great, <laughs> and great restroom yeah. on the beach. Yeah. So well, I'm I sure wanted to say yes. one thing is we were just on Ocean K. Well, let me back this up just a little bit. I'm not going to take a long time to tell the story. Okay. But when we were um, on Ocean K back in last year, when we were on the Maravilla, we hid treasure on the island. Like, yes, we did. Okay, so it was a complete fail complete because failure. we were going to do some augmented reality, and um, we had that all set, but it was not working correctly with the Wi-Fi, and it would have been too hard. And so we literally left the treasure there, and we're like, "Well, we just got to figure it out." So there's two treasures. When we're on the Magnifica. We went back. We searched for those. Did we find them? Did were they gone? You'll have to find out. But for sure, a new treasure was left at Yacht Club, or not a Yacht Club. Well, nowhere near Yacht Club. A new treasure was left on Ocean K. So we're gonna have a video coming out in this series, and it's gonna tell you that whole story, and it's gonna tell you maybe how to find some treasure on the island. Isn't that exciting? It is. We did that on. Um uh, carnival. We did that on Half Moon K, and it was months and months and months. And the there, uh, uh, people they, searched and searched and, and searched. They couldn't find it. We thought it was gone. And then this these like cute little kids found it. and They were so excited, and, and they sent us a, sent us a message, and it was so great. So yeah. we decided to do that again, and we're hoping that this one is not a fail as much as the last one. So there is treasure on Ocean K. So you, you have to you have to make sure you're subscribed so you can see the video about maybe where we might have hit it in the new clue. New clue of where it is. The last thing I wanted to say yes. is I don't care how people pronounce C A Y. Some key. people say key. Even M S C says key. I like K, and I think that it's we're, more exotic to say K. And so that's at Triple T. We're calling it Ocean K. We're Floridians at heart. Yeah. And a key is spelled K-E-Y. And K... C-A-Y. And key can also be C-A-Y. It can. But here we're calling it K. Ocean K. So we like K. We hope it sounds gave, neat. They, we hope we gave... Well, we hope that we gave you a good overview of the island. Um, we're so excited to see what this month and a little bit of extra um, has for the island and what is actually going to be transformed and what's going to be finished. 
Yeah. We can't wait. So we're Hopefully hoping we'll to maybe this real summer we might be able to get a chance to yep. go back there and see and for you guys. So. Yeah, show you everything has changed. Okay. All right. Okay. That about wraps this one up. I think the next ones that we have coming up somewhere in the near future are about upgrades. Great. Uh, upgrades and what you can do to possibly get in Yacht Club. So... Yeah, that'll be handy information. Yes. So thank you so much, everyone, for listening and or watching. We appreciate all of your comments, and we will see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.